Hello everybody, this is Adam with Mr. Horse. We are going to put our hands on the new text presets. This is what we are going to create. So, let's do this all over again. I will duplicate the main composition, open it, and remove these text layers. So right now I have only this background video. Okay, I will create the new text layer and type let's then I will create a new one. I'll hit Command D to duplicate this layer. Good, I will reposition it and I will adjust the size of these layers. So the about can be a bit smaller. Okay, I'll position it to the middle. And now we can start adding the presets. I will select the first layer, go to transitions, text, animate characters, and I want to make it overshoot from the bottom. So I will go to position, rotation and scale because I want to animate these three properties. Open this and select this overshoot. I can select this button to bring up the grid view and now I can see all the presets in this folder. I will select this one because I like it and we can preview it. Let's first move these layers in time maybe a little more like this and this is what we got okay if i would like to adjust how the preset behaves i can select this layer and in the effects control panel i can adjust the properties under the effect name so for example i can move it from the right a little more change the angles and it would look like this I like more the previous one, so I will undo it. So this is what we got. And let's now add presets to the other two layers. I'll move them in time. And I want them to animate from the right side to the left. So I'm going to animate lines and position basic. And in here, I have my favorite preset. I will apply it as an in transition. I will press L to collapse the text layers. And here is what we got. Good, so I will make this layer go first, maybe like this. And now the last one. For this layer, I want the characters to go from the bottom. So I will go to animate characters once again and to position, to basic. I will open up the grid view once again and this is what I'm looking for. I will apply this in transition and check out how it looks right away. I'll move it in time, make it faster and let's preview the whole thing. Good! Now let's add the out transition. I will press L to collapse the text layers, select these layers hit option right bracket to trim the layers now i'm going to apply another preset i want to position them out to the right here's the preset i used previously and the out transition looks like this i can also show both in and out so i will apply it to the out press l once again to collapse and this is what we got. Now, I'll open Transition Shifter and I'm going to stagger these out transitions. So I will select Out Transitions in the Stagger menu and hit Do a couple times. This is what we got. Let's preview. Okay. This is nice. And now I will select all the layers, pre-compose it, name it typo, and I'm going to draw a mask.
Here we go. So if I zoom out, now you can see that it's properly masked. I'll turn on the motion blur and let's preview the whole thing. The reason why I turned on the motion blur is that we want to create a consistency inside our composition. As we have the motion blur on the hand, it looks better if we have motion blur also on everything else, like on the characters. If we don't have it, it looks weird. And if I want to change something, I can always go to this composition. For example, I want to remove these out transitions, I'll select remove, transition out, and I can use, for example, the left, press L, and this is what we got. There's a number of presets in the free version of Animation Composer, including the overshoot, so if you would like, check it out. The download link is below the video. Oh, and one more thing! I've made another video about what's new in the version 2 of the text preset spec, so be sure to check that out as well. There's a cool breakdown video tutorial. I'm Adam with Mr. Horse and see you in the next video! Yeah, smash the like button! and subscribe if you are not already.